My name is Spencer Lang. I come from a small town called Sandy, Oregon. It's near Portland. And I'm a tenor. Glitter. <laughs> it's a German tradition, I suppose. Um, I think the original idea from Humperdinck was to have the same woman who sings the mother to also sing the witch. And then people broke away from that and hired a different singer, a different woman to sing the witch. And I'm not sure when it was, but at some point someone decided they wanted a character tenor to sing this role. Um, and now it's one of the biggest discussions, I think, about the piece. And people fight about it all the time. No, it's not meant to be a tenor. No, it has to be, you know, this sort of thing. She's this nasty sort of character who just wants to take children and turn them into cookies in her oven and then eat them. <laughs> in this version, it's much more on an idea of a sexual predator, which is really kind of awful. The first image that you see of her in this beautiful dress is Marlene Dietrich um, in her last concert that she gave in 1972, I believe it is. That's so much fun. <laughs> it's really, really fun. It's a workout, to be sure. I'm a sweaty mess <laughs> by the end of the scene. <laughs> I think perhaps the, the very beginning, musically, is my favorite because it's, you get to play the most with singing beautifully as this temptation for the children, and then small changes where she's <laughs> this nasty witch character, and then back and forth. In the end of the scene, she's just awful, nasty, and I mean, that's fun, but musically speaking, I find it much more interesting to have that play of back and forth. For me, it, I had to take a few musical rehearsals to get over the idea that it needs to be beautifully sung. There are moments where, uh, like I said, as the temptress, where she sings rather beautifully. But then you really break out of that and it's just, I'm, I'm shouting half of the role, honestly, and it's um, taxing, but very fun. Sleeping Beauty, no question. <laughs>